just like the DJs here in the space. You get burned once, you put your head down, you're a little bit more careful next time, you don't leave the game, you huddle on, do more research. Brady, believe it or not, the man who lost half his family fortune Ooh. in FTX and crypto, he is still passionate and still bullish about crypto, but less so about a return to the NFL. Tom Brady may no longer have laser eyes, but he told the Miami crowd on Thursday that he's still excited about crypto. He said, quote, I have a digital asset business that I love to be a part of. I'm actually flying out to Los Angeles tonight. We have a board meeting tomorrow. He said he was interested in just understanding where the world is going and where innovation is taking place. Now, if you guys don't know, Tom Brady does have a business that he mentioned earlier in the article, and it's called Autograph. It is a sports and entertainment NFT platform that just raised $170 million, which was co-led by none other than A16Z. Do yeah. you know what? Do you think he lost his wife because of crypto? I don't uh, do you think that was the final, the final like straw that broke the camel's back? What do you think? Um... And because it, it is kind of coincidental that that was the same time they decided to file for a divorce. She also lost a good amount of money yeah. as well. And like, what the hell she did you might, get me Here's into? the thing. I bet you she was in the kitchen the whole time while Tom Brady's over there on the PC. She was like, this crypto thing's a bad idea. He was like, I got this. I got this. Elon Musk has ruffled feathers. He's launched rockets. And he's pissed a lot of people off. And some of those people we're going to talk about here as Ripple, FTX, and Tezos leaders are affected by Twitter Blue's checkmark removals. Now, if you're not familiar, Elon Musk came out and said, if you ain't paying me eight bucks, you ain't getting a checkmark. And so yesterday was the last day, April 20th. And the crybabies came out. All legacy checkmarks were mm. gone. So you had to pay eight bucks if you wanted to. Now, a number of crypto leaders appear to have lost their checkmark. One was Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of XRP, or sorry, CEO of Ripple. Others include uh, Tezos co-creator Kathleen Braitman and Eric Voorhees. Uh, also, Sam Bankman fried <laughs> uh, He doesn't have eight bucks to pay, so uh, he lost his check mark. And someone said, I'm not oh, going to pay man. eight bucks a month to prove who I am. Now, some people who did pay, these are the same people that are stealing their, their like sister or like ex-boyfriend's uh, Netflix account. Like, just pay the eight dollars. Stop. Like, stop it. It's not that serious. Yeah. Well, uh, some people who are paying the eight dollars and not that serious: Brian Armstrong, CZ, Jesse Powell, and Vitalik Buterin. And then we have this. Now, some people freaking out. Oh my God, my check mark's gone. One person even went as far as to say this. This is uh, Julie Melner. Elon thinks this is a funny joke talking about removing check marks. As a former verified account, and I'll show you how many followers she has. As a former verified account who lost their blue check mark, I know how dangerous this really is. People are gonna die because they don't have check marks. And let's see who they have here. Uh, how many followers? Oh, 8,700 followers. Wow. Robin, are people gonna die if there's no check marks? <laughs> if you take my check mark away, I don't think I'll make it. I'm just letting you know. I'm talking about crypto Twitter, man. I, I wanna ask you. What do you identify as? Oh, God. Can we not do this? Okay. <laughs> well, what if I told you there is a person okay. who identifies as a dog? Okay. I believe it. You believe it? Well, let's maybe... Someone identifies as well, a dog? Is it the, a dog? For the people... No, like, it's not a dog. Was it not born a dog? No. For the people that don't believe it, let's show them some evidence here. Easy. Drew, please. All right. So we have... Believe it or not, this is not... A human being. Sorry, <laughs> this is not a dog. This is actually a human being who identifies as a dog. I thought that was a real dog. Yeah, well, well, uh, there's a reason why you thought that was a real dog because um, guess how much money this person spent on this outfit? 50 uh, bucks. $15,000. <laughs> 15 grand. You could have bought a Bitcoin. $15,000 well, for the realistic dog. 
Wow. So when he ordered that, I bet you, because that thing probably took a few months to buy. When he bought that, when he put the order in, I bet you Bitcoin was around 16K. You, you factor in taxes. <laughs> I'm just saying, you could become a dog or you could get a Bitcoin. You could become a whole coiner or you could become a dog. There's a there's a tool I like to use. What is that? It's uh Chat GPT. That's your favorite. That brings us right to our next AI segment. And what are you up to now? You know, sometimes sometimes when you get unsure answers and you want to hear the truth, well, I don't go to Truth GPT cuz that's not out yet. That's Elon's. But <laughs> Chat GPT, uh so I asked here uh is would you classify Ethereum as a security or a commodity? Ooh. I want to know because we're so unsure. Gary Gensler won't give us an answer. He won't. And in this extremely long answer here, I'm an AI language as uh, my last update. Blah, blah, in blah. September 2021, Ethereum was generally considered a commodity, not security. I didn't want to read all this. I said, hey, if you had to pick one or the other, give me a one-word answer, security or commodity. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it's commodity. a commodity. That's it. That's it. Right Bull market there. confirmed. Look at that. Bull market confirmed. There it is. So that's yeah. funny. Right? That is so funny that a freaking AI language model can tell us. <laughs> but you ask Gary Gensler, and he's all like, well, yeah. the investing public, uh, you know, a large group, uh, if, take some cattle. I'm like, well, let me tell you guys something. If Robin was in, was a representative in the house and he was on that mm. committee. This man would have done this live against Gary Gensler. He would have been like, oh, you don't want to label it? How is an AI model saying it's a commodity and you are the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission? You can't give us a clear answer. Also, I wanted to uh, see if we can get the age-old crypto answer here. And oh. so I asked, who are the top five most likely candidates for Satoshi Nakamoto? Ooh. Uh, and then uh, gave me a longer answer. I'm like, hey, you got to you got to. What are those this. names? Hold on. You what got, are those you names? You got to simplify it. Okay. So I said, I said, simplify it in list format. And here we go. Dorian Nakamoto. Okay. If you're not familiar who Dorian Nakamoto is, it is the meme himself of Satoshi. The it's a guy uh, that the, okay. the the gentleman with the crazy hair and the thick Coke bottle glasses. Uh, Nick Zabo, Hal Finney. Who, I, uh, I, I lean this how. direction. Craig Wright. Hell and no. Elon Musk is on the top five list. Stop. He is. And so, of course, I needed to prod, uh, why the hell did you pick Elon Musk? Why is he in here? I said, uh, what evidence points to Elon Musk? Give me some reasons. And so, Elon uh. Musk has a background in computer science and programming, which are skills useful in creating Bitcoin. Musk has po publicly committed, uh, commented on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in the past and has made several jokes about being Satoshi Nakamoto. Yeah. Uh, he is also rich enough to not really care about unlocking his Bitcoin if True. he has it. Also, uh, he's associated with innovative payment technologies such as PayPal. So he has a background in digital currencies as well. Ooh. And then uh, I think the nail in the coffin, or oh, there's one other point here, but the nail in the coffin for me is the fact that he sold PayPal and before he started Tesla, in that time window, he sold PayPal. He had like a, a one to two year grace period before he launched Tesla. What grace period was that? 2008 to 2009. Stop it. Mm -hmm.